still go. You can't touch this. Today, hip hop outsells every other type of music. It's bigger than R&B, bigger than country, even bigger than rock. Forget the rock and roll years. What we're living in now are the hip hop years. Hip hop's genesis can be traced to this inconspicuous housing project on the edge of the South Bronx. In 1975, hip-hop was still in its infancy. Few outside the South Bronx were even aware of it. There was no such thing as a hip-hop record. The music was made by DJs who took existing records and mixed the breakbeats together to create a new rhythm. As the relentless search for obscure beats heated up, it was inevitably cool DJ Herc who discovered the most enduring breakbeat of hip-hop's first decade. And it came from the most unlikely source imaginable. Scratching was the most famous of them, a method of stopping the record and rubbing it back and forth against the needle. The trick here was to do it without damaging the vinyl. The very last element of hip-hop music to emerge was the skill of rapping. Like the musical style itself, rapping evolved out of a combination of ingenuity and circumstance. At this stage, the term rap was yet to come into existence. Picking up a microphone to speak over a record was simply called MCing. Hippity, let's call it the hippity hop. It was the hippity hop. Yeah, little hippity hop guys down there. You know, and then they twist around and call ah, oh, little hip hop guys. Yeah, the little hippy hippy parties, the little hype parties like that. Then he finally, you know, went that way, went this way, and then out comes hip hop. A hip hop mixtape had found its way to the owner of a small independent label in New Jersey. Impressed by its originality, she decided to produce a hip hop record and began looking for an MC to rap on it. I said a hip hop. When rappers of light first came out, every you know traditional rapper was fucking mortified. It was like, what the fuck are they doing? Going way, way back to the early days. I got broads in the London. I live my life to the fullest. 